hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn about set window visibility action move window action and resize window action in power automate desktop so please watch this video till then so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel please subscribe it so let's get started In Power Automate Desktop, inside the UI automation and inside the Windows category, we have an action which is called as Set Window Visibility Action. Right? And what this action does is it just shows a hidden window or it hides a visible window. And again, here also you can select the window using the three methods one is by window UI element one is by window instance and handle and by title and or class so for using this by window instance handle you need to use the get window action because that's when the variable will be initialized for the handle right and when you click on on error property here you, here you will see that it has an option to like how many times you want to retry the action if the window is not found right and you can also create some rule so here you can specify if this action fails to perform then you can set a variable right or if you want to you know when when this action is failed then you if you want to run a different function so you can Special select the subflow right and then here if you want to you know go to the next action or you want to repeat this action or you want to go to a specific label you can specify that as well so today i'm going to work with notepad application right so what i will do is i will just try to you know set the window state of this this window so i will use set window visibility right and then what i will do is i will just go ahead and select the title and or class and then i will click on select window i will press ctrl and left mouse click to capture the window and then i will click on save right so what this is going to do is when I will run the bot, it will hide this window and then you will see that notepad application will not be visible in the taskbar. Okay, I will run the bot. So now the notepad application is not visible on the taskbar because here we have chosen the hidden so let's say now i want to set the state of this uh, window as visible and then i will run the bot as you can see the application is visible on the taskbar and this window is also here right and let's say for example this application i have closed now if i run the bot it will give error I have done the bot and here you can see that it says window was not found what I will do is I will create a subflow and I'll name it exception handling you have to make sure that you do not have a space in the name of the subflow you can use underscore or without space now I will go to the main and then I will open this set window visibility I will click on on error and then when this action fails I want to call the subflow so yeah, as you can see exception handling subflow is available here and then I will click on save now what do I want to you know display here 
what I will do is I will go to the message boxes and here I will say display message here I will type as window was not found I will click on save I will run the bot you will see that it will show a message box saying that window was not found because we have specified which action or which subflow has to be invoked when there is an error right so now what I will do is I will open this set window visibility right and this time we had used the title and our class now we can use the window UI element right in this case what I will have to do is I'll have to capture the window which I want to you know set the window visibility of that application or of that window right so again I will work with notepad and to uh, I will click on window and then I will click on add UI element I will capture the window to capture the window I will highlight the window right you can see the red circle around the untitled notepad and then press ctrl and left mouse click window is captured I will select it and then I will click on save and then I will run the bot so bot is running and execution is completed On the bottom you can see that there is a icon for a notepad on the taskbar right and which means the window is already visible but if you want to set the state as hidden of that window you can set it as hidden and then click on save and run the bot what is running and now it will hide that application and now you will not see that application on the taskbar right so the next action that we will look at is move window I will just drag the move window action and here you can see that you have multiple options for example to find a window you need to select one of these three options right so you can use by window UI element you can say you can use by window instance and handle to use window instance and handle it is mandatory to use get window action first right and after that you can select the instance handler here and then you can specify the position right so what I am going to do is I will uh, use the title and class okay and then I will click on select window and then I will highlight that window and then press control and left mouse click the moment I press control and left mouse click you see that it has filled this untitled notepad and the class is notepad okay now when you hover your mouse over this eye icon it says that exposition of the window let's say I want to move it 45 and 70 x it will be horizontal and y will be your vertical position right 
now I will click on save this time I did not set the on error property right I can click on on error property and then I will go to the new rule and then click on run subflow and I can choose the subflow which is exception handling right and then I will click on save now I will run the bot so the bot is running now you did not see anything happening on the screen because we did not focus that window first what I will do is I will use focus window action first right and then I will capture that let's say by window UI element because previously we had chosen that window right and I will use untitled notepad 2 and then click on select and then I will click on save and then I will go to the flow control and from here I will drag this wait action I will specify two seconds so after focusing that window after bringing it to the foreground it will wait for two seconds and then it will move the window now I will run the bot the bot is running it will focus the window first and then it will move the window let me change it to let's say 180 and then 35 then click on save and then run the bot as you can see it has moved the window right so let's just increase it and make it let's say uh, 95 and then click on save and then run the bot so now the bot is running it will first bring that window to the foreground and then it will wait for two seconds and then move the window you can see that it has moved that window below right so this is how you can use move window action in power automate desktop so this time we had used the title and or class you can choose by window instance handle and by window ui element right okay so the next action is resize window i will drag this window here and here also you will see the same set of options which is by window ui element by window instance and handle and title and class right and then you can choose the window which means if you have captured the element you can capture it right you can choose that window and then specify the width and height so what i will do is i will go ahead with the title and class and then i will click on select window and then I will press Ctrl and left mouse click. You can see here the title is captured and the class is also captured automatically. Right? And then I will specify the width. So let's say width will be 65. Height will be let's say 120. Right? And then I will click on save. I will run the bot.
So the bot is running. It will bring the window first in the foreground. It will wait for two seconds and then it will resize that window. You can see it has resized this window. So it has become very small, right? So this is how you can use, you know, the set window visibility action. You can use move window action. You can use resize window action in Power Automate desktop. In this video, you have also seen how you can set a exception handling on one specific action, you know. So for each and every action, you can set up a exception handling. But there are few uh, few actions where you cannot, you know, use the exception handling for that particular exception. For example, if I uh, click on wait, so here you see there is no on error property, right? So like this, there are few more, which for example, if I go ahead in the variables and then I choose set variable here also you will not see this on error property right so this is all about these actions in power automate desktop so if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day